mullet. All right, so I just loaded up on a ton of mullet for bait today. We are fishing for Snook and Jack Cravals, and we're going to be fishing the Rocky Barra Bounty Fishing Tournament in Australia. First Snook of the day. We are on the right track. Like I said, we got to catch a bunch of Snook and Jacks today as much as we possibly can. And I'm kind of working two poles right here, but... <laughs> but um, we just got a nice fish right here. Woohoo! Alright, hooks out, circle hooks out, and this is a really nice fish. This is a juvenile snook. He's gonna grow very, very big, get huge, but he jumped all over the place, and um, we just caught him right here by some docks and some structure in the water, and we're using live finger mullet. So um, that's our first fish. We're gonna measure him, take a picture, and then we're gonna release him for the tournament. Fish number one, down. All right, I'm gonna get him back in the water. I need to catch some more snook. The more I catch today, the better. So uh, let me go ahead and release this guy. He is good to go. Whoa, told ya. Now some of you uh, US people may be wondering what the heck the Rocky Barra Bounty is. Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you. The Rocky Barra Bounty is a, is a fishing tournament, online fishing tournament over in Queensland, uh, Australia uh, on the Fitzroy River. And it's a great tag and release project uh, designed to, for conservation and basically counting the fish to see how the fishery is doing over there. And, and this year, uh, it's all online. You register your fish through an app. No fish are killed. So it's really uh, going along with technology. And, and Darcy and I, mainly Darcy of course, are over here uh, mirroring the event in, in the United States to bring awareness to this because you know it's, it's just a great system uh, to help conserve our fisheries. So basically what we do is you catch a fish, well what everybody does is you catch a fish, they're catching Barra Monday over there and over here the equivalent is Snook and, and, and Jack so that's what we're targeting and you take, you take a picture of the fish on, on a ruler, you submit it in the app and you can take what they call a hero photo which you know is your Instagram photo and you put it in there too. So it's great, everyone uh, gets measured that way and, and it's a great system, you can also tag the fish and then obviously the fish can get recaptured and the tags can be read and the data received and, and everyone sees what's going on with the fishery. Now over there they have an issue with uh, droughts and flooding it seems. Uh, and over here obviously we're in steward fishing today and everyone knows about this Lake Okeechobee situation and the discharges and the effect it has on our fishery over here which uh, seems to be pretty horrible. So this might be a great sort of a system to kind of employ over here. Uh, so we're trying, we're trying it out and we're going to be fishing all day today and, and all day tomorrow. So stick with us and we'll see how we do in this uh, Barra Bounty uh, from our friends over in Australia. He's a baby baby. That's why you missed him so many times. You're just still learning. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Um, so one cool thing about Snook that I just want to tell you guys really quick but basically all snook start off as males and then um, as they get older about half of them do a sex change and they become females and the females are the snook that become huge become over, over 40 inches long just huge fish to uh, harbor eggs every year and to do the spawn every year the snook spawn so it's pretty cool this is a little juvenile snook this is prop more than likely a male the males are always smaller than females and um, as this snook gets older he may turn into a female so pretty cool Second snook of the day, we're gonna measure it and then we're gonna let it go. Stay on the hook! Stay on the hook, please! Woohoo! Alright, so I'm hooked up on another fish and we have just been seeing a ton of incredible action out here today. And there's a ton of oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on! <laughs> Let me get this up. The net, I guess. No, 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 no. It's fine. All right. All right, so we got a double header of jacks. If you saw that craziness that was going on, um, but Brian and I both hooked up to a fish. Nice sized fish, probably about five pound Jack Cravels. They're one of the hardest fighting fish in the ocean. These fish get up to easily 
30, 40 pounds, and when they get that big, they fight like a freight train, and they fight till the very end. And um, these guys, we were able to land really nice fish. We're gonna go ahead and uh, measure them for the tournament, and then we'll take some pictures and let them go. And with the jacks, you don't wanna stick your hands in their mouth. They have very sharp teeth. You don't wanna get bit by them. Where the, tar where the snook and the mullet and the bait are just going crazy and the current's running right here through the bridge. And we have seen over a dozen snook do cartwheels, like in the air, going crazy, aerial show, just destroying the mullet. And um, I just ended up catching a juvenile snook, but I did see some big monster snook in the mix. Come here, little baby. I am using a Mustad 3 aught circle hook, and this is a tournament approved circle hook. And we always use this when we go fishing. We, we like big, we're big into conservation, and the circle hook 99.9% .9 of the time gets stuck somewhere in the lip. Um, and you can see he's stuck right in the lip, it didn't go in his gut, so he's gonna, sw he's gonna swim away and grow up to be a big snook. Oh, there you go. Woohoo! Got some hog legs in there. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Awesome. We are wrapping up our fishing trip, and as you can see, we're back at the dock. We've got the boat loaded, ready to go, ready to go home. Overall, it was a good day of fishing. We saw a ton of bait out there, mullet jumping everywhere. There was actually quite a few fish, but not a lot of snook around. We didn't see too much snook. We saw a ton of jack crevals, and it was just awesome out there. And you can see behind me that it's a high tide right now. The high tide has spilled over into the parking lot. So actually people have to put their trucks and their cars in the water, the salt water, crazy. There's also mullet swimming in the parking lot, so that's crazy. But um, stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to be fishing the second day of the, of the Rocky Barra Bounty fishing tournament in Australia. So we're excited for that. Not sure if we're gonna be fishing here or in Boynton tomorrow. It's a different fishery. Plane. It's a different fishery. And uh, so maybe we're gonna do that, but stay tuned because tomorrow we're gonna to go over tackle and we're gonna tell you exactly what we're doing to catch these snooks and to catch Jack Craval. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have new videos uploaded every single week. I also have fan mail. Check out my fan mail address in the description below. Like the video, and until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching.